Your learning target today is 2.7, story problems that involve division. So we're going to write that at the top. And we're going to take notes as we go through. So a couple clue words. When you read your story problems today, these clue words, they're going to signal that we have to divide. If you see a word like split, I need to split this with my friends. That means I should divide. The word divide means I should do division. The word per, like how many envelopes per student, that would mean divide. And the word each, how much does each person get, that also means divide. So when you see these words today, we're going to do division in the story problems. Before I read this question to you, I want you to write this down on your paper, what I'm circling in blue. Before I read the question, this is what I ask myself. If I were to act this out in real life, what object would I have to have first? If I were to act this out in real life, what object would I have to have first? If I can answer this question, I will know which number to write down first in my division problem. So here's my division problem. Wendy needed two and three-fourths feet of thread to finish a pillow she was making. If she has two times as much thread as she needs, what is the length of the thread that she has? Now this time what I'm thinking about is if I were to act this out in front of the class, what object would I have to have first? Wendy needs two and three-fourths feet of thread to finish a pillow she's making. If she has two times as much thread as she needs, what is the length of her thread? Well, if I were to act this out in front of the class, Wendy's making a pillow. So I'd need a pillow, but the pillow doesn't have a number. She's holding two and three-fourths feet of thread. If she didn't have the thread, she couldn't even make a pillow. This story problem can't even happen unless she has thread. Thread is what I have to have first. So I'm going to start with the number two and three-fourths. So I wrote down two and three-fourths. That's going to go first. She has twice as much as she needs. She sees we're going to divide that by two. So there's my first problem. Now I have to solve this. So the first thing we do is we change two and three-fourths to an improper fraction. Two times four is eight. Eight plus three is 11. I'm going to keep the four. And then I'm going to write divided by and make two a fraction by writing two over one. Now remember, on division, we k, c, f. Keep, change it to multiplication, and flip that last fraction. I can't cross cancel, so 11 times 1 is 11, and 4 times 2 is 8. But that's an improper fraction, so I'm going to have to divide that. 11 divided by 8. 8 goes into 11 one time. 8 times 1 is 8. I'm going to subtract that. And 11 minus 8 is 3. My remainder goes on the top. My denominator stays the same. 1 and 3 eighths is my answer. My label, what is the length of the thread? The thread comes in feet. So my answer is 1 and 3 eighths feet. That is my answer. I actually have to show everything I wrote here on my paper. That goes in the space below. Let's try another one. Here's another problem. But before I read it, I need to ask myself this question. What must I have first in order to do this? A farmer was dividing up his one-third of an acre of land between his five children. Since each child got the same amount of land, what fraction of the acre did each get? There's that word each, so I know this is going to be a division problem. Now again, what has to happen first? 
Is it having the acre of land or sharing it with his five kids? Oh, there's a word divide too. That's a clue word. Division, division. Okay, which do I have to have first? If I have five kids first, that doesn't mean I have to give them anything. If I have the acre first, that gives me something to divide up. If I don't have that acre of land, then this can't even happen. I don't have anything to give them anyway, so this would never happen in real life unless I have the acre first. So since I have the acre first, that's the number I'm going to start with. So I'm going to start with the fraction one-third. You have to have an acre before you can do any, any sharing. Divided by comes from that word and that word. My other number in this question is five. So one-third divided by five is the first thing I'm going to write on my paper. I'm going to make these into fractions. So one-third is okay. Divided by, let's make five into a fraction by writing five over one. So now that's on my paper. I'm going to KCF this on my paper. Keep. Change to multiplication. And flip this fraction over. And now we're going to go ahead and solve this. 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 5 is 15. I can't simplify that. So my answer is 1 15th. And that question says, what fraction of the acre? Well, it's 1 15th of an acre. That is my answer. Okay, let's try another one. Again, before I read this, I have to ask the question, what must I have first to make this happen? A car wash had to make their soap last for six days. If they only have one-ninth of a gallon of soap, how much should they use each day so that it will last for six days? Okay, I see the word each. That means I'm going to divide. All right. What of these two numbers has to happen first? Do I have to have six days? Or do I have to have a ninth of a gallon of soap? Well, let's think about that. Which of these do I actually have to have first? The answer is soap. If I don't have any soap, I don't even need to have a car wash. I'm not worried about six days. As if I run out of soap, I'm, I'm out of luck anyway. So since I have to have the soap in order to even do this story problem, I'm going to write that fraction first. So starting with the soap, 1 ninth divided by my other number is 6. So I want you to write that down. 1 over 9 divided by 6. Let's change these into fractions. 1 ninth is good. Divided by 6 as a fraction would be 6 over 1. Now I'm going to KCF. So on my paper, I'm going to write 1 ninth times 1 6. I can't cross cancel anything, so 1 times 1 is 1. 9 times 6 is 54. So my answer is 1 54th. My label, how much should they use? Well, we're talking about soap in gallons, so gallons of soap. I'm going to write that as my answer. Here's another story problem. Again, I have to ask myself, what must I have first? How many one-fourth cup servings are in nine cups of pecans? My numbers are one-fourth of a serving in a cup and nine cups of pecans. Um, you know what? I can't serve anybody any food if I don't have any food to start with. So the food I'm starting with is right here, nine cups of pecans. If I don't have pecans, I can't serve any food. So the number nine has to come first. So we're going to start with nine divided by, my other number is one-fourth. 
So I wrote that down on my paper. We're going to change these into fractions. 9 over 1 divided by 1 fourth. Now since I have fractions, I'm going to K, C, F. Keep the 9 over 1, change it to multiplication, and flip that last fraction. I can't cross cancel, so my answer is 36 over 1. But a better way to write that is 36. And my label, how many 1 fourth cup servings? How many servings? 36 servings would be my answer. In my next question, I'm still going to ask myself, what do I have to have first? A bakery used one-third of a bag of chocolate chips to make three batches of cookies. How much of the bag did they use for each batch? That word each tells me I'm going to divide. Now, what do I have to have first? Do I need to have a bag of chocolate chips first? Or am I going to make three batches of cookies first? If I think about this, I can't make chocolate chip cookies if I don't have chocolate chips. I have to have the chocolate chips first. So if I have to have my chocolate chips first, the fraction one third has to go first divided by 3. So I wrote down my 1 third divided by 3. Now let's change those into fractions. 1 third's fine. Divided by 3, if I make that in a fraction, it's 3 over 1. Now since I have division, I'm going to KCF. Keep the 1 third, change it to multiplication, and flip the last fraction to 1 third. Since I can't cross cancel, 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times 3 is 9, and I can't reduce that, so my answer is 1 ninth. For my label, how much of the bag, 1 ninth of the bag is how much I need. So I put a label on my question. Your last question, again, what must I have first? A pet store had four cats to feed. If they only had one-fifth of a bag of cat food and each cat got the same amount, what fraction of the bag would each cat get? There's those words, each and each. That means we're going to divide. Now, I have one-fifth of a bag of cat food and four cats. Which of these must I have first in order to make this happen? Now, I'm, I have four cats, I could feed them a bag, or if I have a bag first of food, then I could feed the cats. If I think about this, if I don't have a bag of cat food, I can't even feed the cats. It isn't even going to happen. So if I have to have the uh, cat food to feed them, that means I have to have the cat food first. So I'm going to start with the cat food, one-fifth, divided by my other number is four for the cats. Now I'm going to make these into fractions. One-fifth is fine, divided by four. If I want to make four into a fraction, I'm going to write four over one. Now I can KCF because they're fractions in this division. So keep the one-fifth, change it to multiplication, and flip four over one to one over 4. There's no cross-canceling here, so 1 times 1 is 1. 4 times 5 is 20. 1 20th. And my label, what fraction of the bag? 1 20th of the bag would be my answer. Now that my video is done, I want you to take a look at your notes. When your notes are finished, they should have everything written down that I wrote down. If you need to go back through this video, 
hit rewind, go back through and fill everything in. Next, I'm going to have you turn in your notes to the sub when you leave class. Not until you leave for class. I want you to keep them while you do your homework just in case you need them. But I do want my substitute to collect those. I want to see how you did, so make sure you put your name on your notes. Next, I would like you to complete the worksheet. You need to show all of the work just like I did for my examples today. Don't forget labels. Labels are super important. And finally, if you get those things done, I would like you to work on the blue I ready lesson in math on your computer. Um, I want you to do the blue one and not the green one. Good luck.